Hello everyone, on this Saturday afternoon, I see a lot of messages already pouring in, uh, so hi everyone, and I see a lot of people have been joined us, a lot of uh, repeat customers, uh, repeat viewers are coming uh, for these webinars, and I see a lot of new customers, new people are also joining us. Uh, it's so great to have you all here. My name is Chetan Singh, and uh, like all the other webinars, I'm your host for this webinar as well. I hope you're all doing fine. Uh, for those who are new to this webinar series, this is our sixth webinar, and uh, we've been, uh, we are focusing primarily on how to use SEC online effectively. So during this quarantine period, we are conducting a lot of webinars uh, on SEC online and talking about basic, intermediate, and advanced search. And we're also taking, uh, making sure that these learnings are not only to be implemented during the quarantine period, but also once the quarantine period is over. We can use it when we are in the, in the profession, when we're back in the courts. Now, like you are already on SCC Online web uh, YouTube channel, you can subscribe, you can click on subscribe channel, which will ensure that you get all the updates of as in when we upload any video or we upload any, uh, we are on live on YouTube for any webinar, you can all have that. So without any further ado, let's start with today's, uh, the purpose of the, today's uh, webinar. Now purpose of today's webinar is we have gone through the entire SEC online uh, software. Now those who have you are joining for the first time for this webinar, I would highly recommend you go back to uh, YouTube uh, videos on the channel that you are already on. You can look for the uh, earlier recorded uh, webinars, and all the the minute, like smallest to smallest things, have been covered in those webinars. But in today's session, we'll talk about about SEC online, but how to use it on the move. We all have our iPads, we all have our phones handy when we are going out in the court or when we are traveling. And opening a laptop is not a very, I think not, it's not a first choice for a lot of people, including myself. So the purpose of the session is, is, is deriving out of that particular notion that how can I access the information, access the database on the move. So today we'll talk about SEC online application for iPad. Right now, you can see my iPad screen on the uh, on on the on the on the video. I click on the I, I SEC online icon that's on the top first, right over here, and I have my SEC online app ready. Now, first thing first, research. You can do research. Uh, we've already learned the research part. I would like also like to uh, talk about something which can inform you, which can keep you updated with the latest information. I'm talking about the notifications tab that you can see all again. You can see on the screen right over here. And then you have SEC blog. We'll talk about the SEC. We'll we are planning to have a a webinar or SEC blog separately. So we'll talk in le at length on this one. But for now, let's talk about notification. If I click on the notification part, I'm lo already logged into the application. I click on the notification. And over here, you'll see a capsule of information pouring in. Now, those who have just downloaded the application, you need to click on this green icon over here. This is to switch on the notif notification. So from after you have downloaded the application, you will, if you click on this, this notification will start pouring in after that time. Post that, uh, post uh, in, once you have downloaded the application. So I have been, I have this application from a long, long time. So I have all the notification coming in from, I think, for a long, 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 long time. Now, the best part of this is, now you can see it's a SEC blog, breaking, uh, INHRC asked Central about arrangement 
made for mentally ill people roaming on streets during COVID lockdown. Director High Court, government must take care of children of migrant laborers arrived in the state since outbreak of COVID-19. With this small synopsis of what has been discussed, you can decide, do you want to see this or do you want to ignore it? For now, let's see, I want to click on this uh, Calcutta High Court. One click on it, it automatically gives me the information over here. And this is not the full judgment. This is just published on April 10th. And as you scroll down further, it says Calcutta High Court judgment. A simple brief of the judgment is given over here for you. So you can simply go through it, update yourself, and you're good to go. You can access these information while you're going to your office, coming back, sitting at home. I think it's it works like a newspaper. The only difference would be it's a newspaper only and only for our fraternity. Yeah. And at the end, it also gives you the reproduction number, considering that it's the very latest case. So we have not really published it. So we're giving you the, the original citation of the court. Let's go back to search. Now, on the, as you can see, the screen is divided into two parts. One takes, one is like a menu, that is your first one, search, SEC blog, notification will be already covered. SEC web, in case you want to open the browser straight away from the uh, website from here, you can click on this. Folders to access what you have saved. Now, as you already know that we took a session on a complete session on case compilation wherein you can make a compendium of all the cases and we saved that in the folder section. So if I go to your my folder section right now, I will be able to see it. Which simply means that you you can add any folder on any device and it is avail it will be available on all the devices wherever you have your login ID, wherever you have logged in. Having said that, there's one more thing that a lot of people, uh, a lot of you would be asking in the questions, uh, in the question section. Uh, let me clear it out. You can only access one device at a time. So if you're logged into your browser and you come to your application, it will log you out from your browser and vice versa. So let's start with this. Now, we don't have a browse feature over here, considering it's an application. Now, as we've been using application for Facebook, Gmail, uh, Make My Trip, uh, Make My Trip, and so on and so forth, you would have realized the website layout versus the application layout always differs. And that is only and only because of the screen size constraint. If you're giving the full website in the application, then there is no point because it will be too filled with the, con uh, the content and the text and zoom in, zoom out would not make sense. So applications are always made keeping in mind that it's convenient, it's easy to read and so on and so forth. Yeah. Okay, let's start with this. Now, first thing first, word search. Now, you click on this, the keyboard will uh, keypad will open, uh, come up. I already have my search ready. I'm gonna search for breach of contract. So I can write breach of contract or I can write breach near contract. Now near we know that we want the word breach and the contract occurring near each other, right? That's why you put the word near. And I click on Boolean. Why Boolean? So that the near feed functionality gets activated and it's not searching for the word near itself. It's using the word near as an operator yeah and click on search and there you have it your first results are right in front of you now the second column like you have seen in the website it's it's right in the middle so it says it says d2 so D signifies, it's a digest node, 2 signifies, it's the quorum strength. It's a Supreme Court uh, judgment, decision date, the party name, and that, because I've selected the first one, first entry, it's showing on the right-hand side section. Now, to make things simpler, I want to read this, third, this 
the corner most section, corner right section in a bigger text. I can simply come on this bottom and I click on this expand. It will just give me a better layout so that I can read it at, on the go. To make things more simpler, I can increase or decrease the text from here. So I can say decrease the size and there we have it. It's much, much convenient to read now because of the text size. Yeah. Clicking back on this bottom will bring you back to the main screen. Now, those of you who have been using SEC Online primarily on the browser would notice that the first sec, the first column, which was about the bifurcation of that this, uh, how many results have we found? We found 36,000 results. But what is the bifurcation of these 36,000 results? How many judgments? How many digest notes? How many acts? How many articles? For that, it's kept over here, the filter icon on the top right. I click on this, and there we have it. If I want to select something specific, I can say select none. Okay. And then I want to restrict my results to, let's say, only Supreme Court and Bombay High Court. I can also select the years if I wish to, but right now I'm really not uh, want to do that. Select two quotes, apply, and automatically the result from 36,400 something has reduced to 2,500. Simple learnings that we have done. All the learnings that we have, uh, all the things that we have learned on SEC online website are applicable over here. It's just the layout, it's just the user interface is a bit different. The functionality remains the same. Now this icon, which is the next highlight. So we have search for breach and contract. So if I click on this, it's it just basically jumps, helps me get to that particular word wherever it's been occurring in the judgment. Rather than me scrolling up and down, it just saves that part. The one next to that is the next note. So if I click on it right now on the first note of Reliance Salt Limited, I click on this, I'm in the next note that is State of Bihar versus Jain Plastics. And the one on the left does the same. Previous highlight and previous note. Okay. What else? Now, you see this icon. The arrows which is one going up, one, the other one going down. We remember that we had this feature in SEC of sorting the results either by day, uh, by latest judgment, by quorum strength, and other, other options were also available over there. That option has been kept over here for you. So if I click on this, I get those two options over here. Uh, latest first, I'm gonna see the latest judgment on uh, breach of contract from Supreme Court and Bombay High Court. Apply, 9th of March. Later judgment from uh, Bombay High Court is available. And as far as the Supreme Court is concerned, we have a 6th of March judgment talking about the same uh, point of law. Let's go back. Now, this is your word search. Double inverted quotes, if you're looking for uh, some uh, legal words. Local standi. Then obviously, the same thing. Double inverted quotes has to be applied. Move, let's uh, move to the next one. Find by citation. Same thing prevails over here. You need to first select your journal that you have a citation of. So I say SCC. The list is the same. What you have on your on the website is the same list. And over here, I just key in the citation number 2007 space one space if I click on the space button it jumps to the next uh, available uh, area that I can type on type so one search and there we have it producing Badal versus state of Punjab 2007 one SEC one so this is with the name with the help of citation Let's, so every time I have to go back 
I have to click on the search. But if I click on the search results, let's see what happens over there. Your search is intact. Usually, uh, I think in the last webinar or last to last webinar, uh, someone had asked me that whenever we click on uh, find by party name and we go back, it just starts from the start. All it does is it gives you a green tick. Yes, but it was giving you a green tick. But over here, when you go back, it takes you back to the way you were. I'll explain this more in the next example. Let's go by find by party name. So if you have to go back to home screen, this is the search option. You click on search and then you go to the next search that is find by name. Now, uh, the case that we are going to look for is for Supreme Court of India. And uh, I'm sure everyone know about this case, ADM Jabalpur. Okay, that was too early for me to press search button. ADM Jabalpur, start search. Now, the case I'm looking for is ADM Jabalpur versus Shivakant Shukla. We all know about the judgment, judgment on Indian legal system. One click on this, it will automatically open the full judgment for me. And now, the question that a lot of people uh, were, in, uh, were really interested to know, how do I see an overall judgment? We have shown that in the software that you can open any judgment by citation or by party name and look for the red discrimination marks. Well, in the app, it doesn't have a, a round uh, thing, but it does have a red discrimination mark. So this, point number six, point number seven, and I believe few more are overruled in this judge in the judgment. But you can also see it tells you in the judgment itself overruled in case K S Puttu Swami versus uh, Union of India. Can you sub-search in this? Certainly. So it says, what would you like to search for? There's a sub-search over here. Now we open the judgment and I want to see all the points which are overruled in the judgment. So that we have, one thing that we already learned is we open the judgment and we do a sub-search for the word overruled. That's what we did. And now, we got our results wherever the word overruled is occurring and the red estimation mark entries show me all the cases where it was overruled. Let's see the first one, the first law point. It says overruled in case, put to some case. Minority view of K, uh, Justice Khanna was upheld and so on and so forth. See the next point. You get that view as well. And you have all your overruled law points in one place. Now the question might uh, come in your mind that how can I go back to the original search? Original search wherein we had 68 entries which had one judgment and 67 law points. It's very simple. Just click on this entry. Just click on the first search that says 68 and you're back to your original search. Not only this, if I click on search results which is on the top over here, I go back, I do get my result that I have searched for. It's not blank. And I go further back, even there I have the result. So I can go back to the search again. I can click the search button again. I can have this up and it will be in front of me within no time. Not only this, in case you want to see where all this case was referred, relied on, or distinguished, cited, this is the option over here, which looks like a 99. If you see the third section button, it says 99, which is not 99, it's double quotes actually. One click on this, and before I click on it, let me show you uh, the filter. So it says one judgment and 67 digest notes. Okay, and now we just go back and click on the the 99 icon which is the double quotes and which is case reference feature one click on this you have 498 and ADM Jawalpur case has already been uh, has also been searched because we're looking for citation that's why 
but let's click on the filter and say select none only digest notes apply and I want to see the latest judgment as well so on this and say latest apply so ADM, ADM, ADM Jawalpur case where all it was cited it was cited recently in 2019 judgment of Peach Chitamram and how do I see it this is the head note I scroll down further and at the last it says ADM Jawalpur versus uh, Shivakant Shukla was cited let's see the another one now I can also click on these red, uh, the next highlights and there we have it ADM Jawalpur along with other cases was cited, was cited. so this is one way now the best part can I go back to my uh, previous search can I go back to my uh, original judgment just click on search results and the back button over here you're back to your original judgment I'm sure a lot of you I can I can hear a lot of you uh, you know uh, liking this feature that you're not losing out on your um, your on your research we understand because when you're on the app uh, opening multiple windows uh, you know is not an option it has to be done everything has to be done on the same screen and in the same app, app itself so we have given you this functionality of going uh, forward as well as going back to your search so there is a breadcrumb feature for every search that you have okay let's go further now after this red uh, this double code which is 99 and case reference we call it we have a print icon so what does the print icon do so if I click on the print icon it gives me option do I want the true printout or do I want the print I say I want the true printout and uh, considering that we are on a webinar I just take three pages just I don't want to uh, you know spend a lot of time on this so download true print and true prints get downloaded on my machine straight away the full print is available over here and in case you want to save this so you see this icon over here next to the URL you click on this it says do you want to save it so you scroll down and you click on save to files or in case you want to print you can print it but save to files you click on save to files the true printout on my iPad save it has been saved now those who uh, want to access this uh, thing there's a file uh, name application in your iPad you can simply click over there and it will be uh, available over there just mind or just uh, keep a note of one thing when you're doing save to files it gives you two options iCloud Drive and on my iPad if you click on iCloud Drive it is getting saved on the Apple Cloud for that you need to log into your Apple Cloud account and then you can access all the information I would suggest you can use my uh, on my iPad because it's a local file and you don't need internet or anything uh, to access that information later on cancel it out get back and back to the application let's move to the next one now this one this feature is to save the full judgment now this is a very very long judgment we have already seen it it's uh, running to 200 plus almost like 300 pages so I'm not going to use this feature right now because otherwise it will take all the bandwidth and we will be waiting for it to download and to see it so I'm going to show this feature of saving in some other judgment or let me just do one thing let me just take it on the head note so I can save the head note that's a small one and I clicking on the third icon that is a, a cloud with a downward arrow I click on that and just getting saved right over here again the same thing you click on this icon on the top top right ask you where to save it you say save to files and we've already done this so I'm gonna just go back back then what next then we have a small a bucket 
where it has the arrow going upwards. Now this is in case you want to share this document. You want to share it by email or you can copy link to share. Then if you copy the link, you can share that link on WhatsApp or messages and the person can get access to that a judgment or the document that you are trying to share it with that person. Or you can simply click on email. It will ask for the email and address for the person that you want to send this information to. It will get, get sent over there. Cancel it. And then comes my favorite uh, feature that is folders. Go on the move, you like something and you want to save it right in your cloud. Because you will be reaching office in some time and you want to do research. And on the move, you have already you know, found few judgments or few authorities which are, are relevant to you. So why go back and just write it on the piece of paper and then look for that paper you know, or look for the diary? It's easy. You just click on this folders. And we already have established this uh, part in the earlier webinars that, that we're Creating folders is such an easy task and it's convenient. Forget about the, uh, the A's of it, A's of use, but I think it's more convenient because you can, you can, do, you can add on one uh, device, you can add a document on one, uh, from one device and you can access from all the devices. So, uh, remember we made this uh, webinar test folder, I'm just going to look for that. Uh, there we have it, right? Webinar test. So I click on webinar test, add to folder and say note added successfully. So my folder, uh, my uh, note has just been added. So it's a precedent generally what is binding in a judgment. That's what I've added in my folder. Okay. So let me go to folders now. Let me see uh, what my folders, uh, do I have that over there or not? So I'm clicking on the, the first section of the of my screen which is red in color so I'm gonna call this uh, for for section so if I click on the folder icon over here it is gonna automatically show me all my folders I scroll to the last one and there we have it webinar test click on this view folder and there we have it. So I think on the move, accessing accessing the information in one screen, I think it's much more convenient. Going back, and then I'll come back to the A's of use again. I'm going to the next feature that is find by section. Now find by section means Please enter an act to search. So it's it's about finding judgment on a section. So I'm gonna look for contract act. Okay. Search. The entire act opens up. I'm taking section 17. And there we have the full all the judgment on section 17. And again in the same uh, the same feature. If I click on search results. I'm back and the full section is still open. The full act is still open. So I'm not doing a research again and again. Yeah. So I'm so section 17 is not something I want to look for. I can change another section and look for that. That is section wise search. Let's go back and search. So and in case um, any one of you want to use the, uh, the browse uh, feature or the other features that we had uh, have in the software, those features are available on the browser. Now, considering that you are using the, this uh, application on the iPad, you can certainly open the browser as well over here because on iPad, the screen is bigger, so you can have a full view of the browser right away. For that, the convenient thing is you click on SEC Web. That's what I'm going to do right now. Automatically, it opens SEC Online for me. I click on Login. My ID and password is already saved. I click on Login. Now, 
because I'm already logged in into in uh, in SEC online through my application, it's giving me an uh, it's giving me a warning. Now, do I want to close the previous session? A user already logged in with, with this ID. Do you want to continue? Now, uh, folks, in case this uh, message comes in uh, very often, then you might want to change your password. Yeah, probably someone uh, is using uh, your uh, SEC online account without your permission. Or if it's a case that what we are, uh, you know, what we are in right now, the situation that we are in, because we already know that we are logged in into uh, through the application. So in this one, I'll just say, do you want to continue? Yes. If I say yes, my previous session will get logged out. And I click on yes. Now automatically, I have my full SEC online available over here. Okay. So I wanted to show this, uh, uh, the website part as well, because it's up to you what you want to use. Personally, uh, members who, are, who, are, who have met in person or who have been talking over the phone from past so many years, whenever I get a query from uh, anyone and I'm on the go, I don't open my laptop. Trust me. I, I've been using uh, my mobile phone or my, or my iPad, I think, for the longest time. And uh, it's, just a con it's, it's just so convenient that I don't open my laptops uh, for to, to do research. Uh, that if, if anyone has asked for it or if anyone wants a judgment or a link of the judgment, I do it through the app. Uh, so I think uh, that brings us to the end of the, this uh, detailing, uh, detailing webinar on uh, the how to use app. Uh, don't, let's not forget that you, know, you can uh, keep yourself updated with all these webinars uh, by going to our YouTube channel. All these webinars are already getting recorded, so you can access it at any point of time. You can share it uh, with your colleagues and your friends and uh, help them share the knowledge. They will be able to, uh, you know, further in the future, they will be able to help you with the research. And I think let's all learn new things. Let's, uh, I've been getting a lot of uh, feedback on SEC uh, webinars that there was a lot of there were a lot of things that were not known to people that have been uh, brought out uh, you know uh, through these webinars i think i can't thank enough uh, to all the people uh, that this is really really motivating so that being said i think we are we can now open the uh, question answer section i can then uh, well, i can now answer uh, if you have any questions uh, Rishi Kapoor, Chetan need more support. Uh, Rishi, what support do we, uh, how can we help you? Just let us know. Uh, how to use markup feature. Uh, uh, Rahul, uh, could you just please explain exactly uh, where exactly do you need the markup feature and what for what purpose? I can uh, help you with that. Uh, Rishi, uh, you can uh, email me. Uh, my email address is learning at the rate uh, sccaonline.com and uh, you can uh, get in touch with me or you, uh, my entire team uh, of trainers are uh, uh, can ha have access to that email address so you can just uh, have a look at that uh, in section wise search all acts are not accessible example Maharashtra Town Planning Act Mr. Mudgal uh, the state acts uh, I think the last uh, session that, that we took uh, when we were talking about section wise search uh, I highlighted this part over there that there, there are certain uh, central uh, there are certain state acts wherein the gadgets is not the state gadget is not available and due to which uh, we are not able to uh, put it uh, over there. Uh, however, uh, having said that, those things are available when you go to the browse feature. So if you go to the browse feature of uh, browse acts and rules. Over there, all the acts are updated, but not by section-wise, because section-wise, we'll only will put it once we have a state act uh, in place. Okay. Uh, Rishi, my email address, I'm going to put it over on the chat, so you can uh, learning at the rate secconline.com. That's uh, our, uh, that's one email address, or you can also mail us in case you need any support, SCC on, uh, support at the rate yeah. Uh, 
okay i have a question out of the context how how can search a case if i know the judge name like you lalit and like the year 2014 and the section 432 crpc i think uh, yes it is a bit off topic uh, but considering that we are covering the entire uh, you know software over here i can answer that but i would highly recommend that you do go to the uh, uh, advanced search uh, uh, webinar you have that answer over there so i'll just give you the heads up on it on the search screen uh, and if you uh, on the search screen when there's a search bar you come at the bottom there is a option of uh, quorum name you click over there just just write just his lalit name over there you already know how to filter the results with the ear click on it and then do a sub search for section 432 of crpc yeah can this database be accessed outside the institute or will it work within the institute uh, mr uh, kumar you can access the database even outside the institute provided your institute uh, has given you remote access uh, there is no limitation from our our side in terms of uh, you know restricting people to not to use it from outside the campus please get in touch with your uh, it department or just uh, uh, tell them to uh, give me a call almost all the university uh, it personals have our numbers and or otherwise you can give us a uh, call on a toll free number which is available on the website and uh, I think it's it's uh, it's available over there. It should be available. Uh, Harish, uh, hi Harish, uh, good to see you again. Uh, will my search history on the phone be available on the computer when I access it later? Absolutely, Harish. These are all, uh, uh, you know, uh, they are working on the same server. So either irrespective, you use it on your app or on your phone or on your laptop. Everything is getting saved. But good to see you, Harish, in all the webinars. Uh, you know, good to see you and good to see your participation. How to check a judgment has been uh, referred. Now, Rishi, uh, when you uh, remember, we few minutes back we talked about uh, the we were in this judgment of ADM Jabalpur. So, and when we were in that judgment, we clicked on that uh, ninety-nine. Uh, okay, just a sec. We clicked on that ninety-nine, uh, you know, icon, which is a uh, I said uh, it's a case reference or double quotes. When we were, when you click on that one, so let me show it to you. When we clicked on this, uh, if you see this one, uh, the 99 and the, we call it uh, uh, the case reference feature. If I click on this, it shows me all the cases where in this case was referred, relied on and so on and so forth. Okay. So that will uh, give you the answer. Uh, Shalini, uh, how can I search any decision of Honorable Supreme Court in respect to enactment of special laws by name of parties or by ear? I think party would be a better option if you know exactly, uh, uh, you know, uh, of a particular party on that particular law. I think it's much, much easier because it's narrow down your research. However, in case you are a bit, uh, you know, you're a bit doubtful or in a dilemma that it was it a, you're not really sure of the party names, then obviously you can narrow down with the special law that you are looking for, right? And then reduce and then just restrict your results to the ears like uh, let me show it to you so if you click on this uh, sorry if you click on this filter and I click on this filter oh right now it's not showing because I'm not in the forward search let me show it to you once you go in the search pick up my search uh, okay not really Let's say director's liability search. Now I'll click on the filter. Once you click on the filter, you'll see the search in years. So this will help you, uh, you know, narrow down your research uh, from there. Uh, okay. Do you have any other question, uh, Harish? Uh, hi. Good too. It is always good to, uh, you know, uh, see that people are having. Uh, Good time in the webinar and learning new things. SEC print edition provided search term from 1998 to 2000, which were holding good in CD-ROM edition, whether it will be accessible with web edition for a particular case. Uh, Anupam, uh, there is no difference between the CD-ROM or, an, uh, or SEC web edition. The only, only difference that I see right now is that web edition has more database and it is updated on a daily basis. 
and CD-ROM it doesn't get updated on a daily basis you need to put in the CDs otherwise the data uh, is just the same so what you are seeing on the CD-ROM you'll get everything and more on web edition okay and then uh, how to search two sections together now Mr. Mudgul uh, you can search for two sections together so you can uh, like the example that I showed to you uh, was uh, find by section. So I can, uh, I was searching for contract. There are two ways actually. You can uh, go to section, uh, section wise search and you can select first act and then section. So I'm clicking on fraud and then I can do a sub search. So in the sub search, I can write IPC. Uh, near 420 and start search it will auto get me, automatically give me that results otherwise the other option is you can go to search you can write contract act and just put double inverted quotes because there are two words right and the section number or I can also take a better example which I'm sure that uh, would have a would yield a lot of results negotiable and I write uh, near 138 right and start start search for this boolean obviously and then do a sub search for the next act that I'm looking for so it'll give you the results from both the acts in one place uh, <clears throat> Or sections in like you asked. You can think that this has been a good addition to it. Okay, can I access unreported judgments also? Ganesh, uh, yes, you can uh, access. We are covering reported and non-reported judgments, both are, avail uh, are available over here. Uh, uh, Rishi, can you just, uh, if uh, I'll be, you know, uh, I think I can't really read on this. You can just uh, read on the video. It's going to be available to you. It's very simple. You can read on it. You'll get the answers over there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, try doing it with the quorum only and with the period from this, but couldn't find it. As soon as I write to you, Lalit, it's like no research is found. Aditya, that is because uh, in a lot of judgments, uh, they don't use the initials of the judges. So like you say, you, you are this. I think it's Uday, Uday, Uday or something, uh, Lalit. I'm not, uh, I can't recall the full name or just Lalit right now. But I would, uh, what you can do is you can just write Lalit. Okay. Because last name is something that all in all the judgments would be there. So just write the word Lalit and then you can get, get with it. Okay. Uh, so I think uh, Rishi, uh, your issue has been all the way resolved over the phone. I love how the team really, you know, works together. You know, they uh, they all come down while I'm answering that question. My, I think one of my team members has already answered it uh, over the taking the person over, over the phone. Okay, any other question that we have? Okay, so I think that brings us to the end of this webinar. We, you have already have my email address and uh, you can write in, uh, to us or you can call our toll-free number as well which will uh, uh, take care of all your uh, queries. Uh, our toll-free number is uh, already available to you. I can just, uh, uh, if you want, I can share it on the screen or I can, I think I'll just share it on the screen itself because that'll be an easier thing to do. So if you on the if you see on the website, so there we have 1-800-102-7227 and the other one is 1-800-258-6310. So you can uh, call us up, you can uh, give us a call and uh, we'll be able to help you with that. How many devices we may use, how to change device? Uh, Mr. Mudgal, uh, you can register three devices, right? And in case uh, you have sold that phone, let's say you uh, you uh, install SCC online on one device and you have sold it off to someone, then uh, we will still have that count even if you format your phone. So at any point of time, you have get this error that you're registered on uh, three devices already and you cannot register on uh, on the fourth device. Uh, you can simply write an email to us on support 
at the rate sccaonline.com. The email ID I've already mentioned in the chat. You can please scroll up and check that out. And uh, just write an email to uh, on uh, support at the rate sccaonline.com. Just mention your login ID. And uh, just uh, just mention very uh, in simple, in simple one line that uh, please deregister all my devices or uh, I'm getting this error. And uh, please deregister. We will deregister all your devices and uh, your countdown would be reset to zero. And then you can add uh, new devices again. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, Mr. Tiwari, you can use sub brackets. Uh, your question about uh, in CD-ROM search, we are we were using brackets, sub brackets, and boolean uh, feature all together. But in web edition results, not not the same. We use more search and search within search to find cases how to reconcile. Not really, Mr. Tiwari. Uh, uh, today's session, I was not want, I didn't want to go in too much of uh, an advanced search because advanced search feature has already been uh, dealt in one of the webinar. And we do, uh, we do, uh, you know, play, play around with the apprentices, with the brackets and everything. Uh, if you're using that, you can use it over here as well. The brackets, I like I said, the functionality, the working on uh, CD-ROM and SEC is exactly the same. With the sub search, it just, it just, it's more convenient than putting brackets. That's why we've been, uh, I've been putting that over here. But in the last webinar, we were talking about the sub searches, so don't worry about it. You can have a look over there. Okay. Uh, audio part needs some improvement. Uh, okay, Abdullah, I can uh, I can uh, check on that part. Considering that I am not uh, in the office, I'm working out of my uh, you know drawing room or my living area, living uh, room from my house. I think uh, uh, I'm, I'm we're just trying uh, whatever that we have and just trying to make things work. So, but I'll uh, I'll still check what what best we can do on this yeah I'll try and get back to you for sure because uh, it has such okay uh, uh, Manish has all thank you for pinpoint answers okay so thank you everyone uh, for appreciating this and thank you everyone for uh, coming over here and uh, you know uh, helping us uh, conduct this wonderful session once again today was the sixth webinar which means that it gives you now after the session is over you will have access to six recorded webinars. So I'll see you there on the YouTube while you see the recorded videos of our webinars. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, it was uh, it's wonderful. It was a wonderful session, and thank you uh, for appreciating our efforts. We'll see you soon with the next webinar. Thank you. Have a good day.